Hey, I'm Derek Beck, and we're in Texas because this lesson is big and we need a lot of space. Joining me today are amateur filmmakers and professional Texans, Nico Nico Films. Hi. To help bring a lesson about using the most amazing piece of film equipment that you may have never thought to use despite interacting with it on a daily basis, a car. A car can supply that extra professional look without costing any extra dollars. In fact, we're using one right now. By shooting out of the back of the trunk and moving slowly, we can achieve a smooth tracking shot without setting up any extra dolly tracks or renting expensive equipment. And if you stick your camera out the window, you can get a fast-paced chasing shot. And I do say, darling, you look the absolute vision of beauty when you filmed at an angle for a side dolly shot. And remember, nothing adds drama like a slow push. Audio can get tricky when your dolly has a gigantic roaring engine, so we suggest either overdubbing the dialogue or putting the car in neutral, shutting off the engine, and pushing. Once you've mastered using your car as a dolly, there's no limit to the creative ways that you can employ it. It's far too dangerous to try while moving, but for static shots, a car can make a great elevated platform. If the roof is sturdy enough, it can add yards of height to any bird's eye view. To the next scene! Well, now that you've seen how to use your car as film equipment, it's time to use it in some practical effects. Say you've got a scene where the driver has a lot of lines to recite. Well, that can get dangerous to do for real, so what do you do if you don't have a green screen available? You fake it, of course. It's all about the framing. Keep the hands out of the shot, and the back seat is as good as the front. Ah, here comes Harrison now with our next trick, although you've seen it before. All right, I'm here. Why'd you need me to ditch my car? So we can show him how to fake it. Fake it, yes, that would have been smart. Thanks for watching, you guys. And action. Our first trick is called the swipe cut. You may already know it as the movie magic effect that's used to fake dangerous actions such as throwing a knife. Wait, what are we doing? The concept is simple. You film two separate takes of the same scene, then cut in the middle of the pan and splice them together. This is a great simple effect, but on a two-person film set, it takes on a whole new purpose as a way to have dynamic shots that also include both actors. To see how that works, let's head outside. By having each actor operate the camera in turn, you can include both in a single shot and make it seem that there's a dedicated cameraman when there isn't one. Ugh! You can even do this with a handheld camera as long as you're sure to make the swipe look smooth. While it's not vital that the swipes look exactly the same, it's always a good idea to keep the camera settings on manual. That way they don't change in between shots. This is particularly important for our next tip, as is having a tripod. Keep the camera perfectly still and have the two actors move to both sides of the frame for a few seconds. In editing, it's a simple matter of cropping the images. This way you can turn two cowboys into a whole gang of outlaws. Perhaps you only need one extra person, a beautiful woman to enchant while a jealous rival looks on.
With an iPhone or a comparable smartphone, you're essentially carrying around a professional grade microphone all the time. It's a simple matter of setting it to record audio or voice and placing it close to your actor. And then as long as you sync the audio with the video, it doesn't matter how far away you stand from the camera. Sounds great, Derek. So there you have it. With just a camera, tripod, a little creativity, and a friend, you can make a movie. Let's shoot this thing, Harrison. What on set! Lights! Striking! Camera! Rolling. Sound! Action! Dancing is an expression of the soul. Some do it quite poorly, while others do it well. According to a list published by DanceColleges.com, Texas State University's dance program ranks 24th in the nation and 5th among colleges that solely offer undergraduate degrees. Division of Dance sophomore Julianne Way takes pride in the school's high ranking. That's awesome. Like, it makes our university look so much better and so much more great than it already is. The ranking is an important honor for the program, which has fairly humble beginnings. It's built steadily. We're, this is our 50th year, uh, and it has gone from being a physical education degree with a dance emphasis to a full-blown major with four tracks, all undergraduate. Along with the four degrees offered, students can join five performance ensembles. One thing the director of dance, Leanne Smith, believes truly sets the Texas State Division of Dance apart from other schools is its focus on the health and well-being of its students. We have a philosophy of training healthy, happy <laughs> dancers into healthy, happy people and professionals. The department's next performance is fast approaching. In November, the advanced choreography class will have their showcase, which features their work and then performance workshop, which is taught by a faculty member, and then some guest artists will be presenting their work. The performance will take place 7 p.m. November 14th and 15th at Jowers Dance Studio. Tickets will cost $10 and can be purchased online or at the door. For Bobcat Update, I'm Trevor Smith. Texas State is a place of natural beauty, and you can do your part to keep it that way. The Texas State Recycling Program provides recycling services to all students, faculty, and staff. With receptacles all across campus and even a drop-off facility, the Texas State Recycling Program is set on helping people help the environment. So make others green with envy by going green and keeping our campus beautiful for years to come. For more information on the program, including volunteer opportunities, call 512-245-7733. A message from KTSW, the other side of radio. Engage the teleportation machine. Welcome to the other side of radio, KTSW 89.9. Seasons change and so do cars. If your car seems to be getting into the spirit of the season and won't stop falling apart, why not consider donating your used vehicle to the National Kidney Foundation's Kidney Cars Program? The Kidney Cars program helps thousands of Central Texans suffering from kidney disease. The program also accepts motorcycles, boats and trailers, and towing is free. You'll even qualify for a tax deduction. Call 512-326-9695 or 1-800-488-CARS to schedule free pickup of your used vehicle. <laughs> 